Um, yeah, I don't want that plastic chunk. Oh my god, we're hearing something right outside the frickin' door. Shit. Okay. Baseball cap, golf cap, leather trench coat. Hmm. Oh no. I have a sneaking suspicion, people. I have a sneaking suspicion that someone's trying to bash down this door. Oh, items stay in the bags you have on you. Oh, like when you drop a bag, how all the items fall on the ground right now? Oh, okay, cool. What is what is the drawback to playing on the experimental branch other than I guess if it gets updated your save games are invalidated? Anyway, uh if someone breaks down this door, uh it's going to get it's going to get crazy in here. And I think they are going to break down that door. Uh so I'm going to hide in the bathroom like a bitch. That's what's gonna happen right now. That dental floss could possibly come in handy. Oh yeah, they're up in this shit now. Oh yeah. <laughs> there are bugs. It doesn't always invalidate save games on updates, but you'll run into more bugs. Oh, okay. Alright. How long does it take them to get past doors? I guess it depends on the individual monster's strength. But it usually takes, what, like four or five turns, I would think? Like, they're already through. We can see, we can hear stuff coming from inside the house now. It's in feature freeze at the moment, so updates just get better. Sweet. Okay. I have to admit, I have I've been aware of this game. I've known about this game for several years. But I never had the guts to try it. Um, until now, and uh, I am regretting all the time that I spent not playing this game. I'm absolutely serious. To me, it's so much more satisfying than um, than like Project Zomboid or something like that. But uh, anyway, let's get back to this. Are they really coming towards me? Am I gonna die trapped like a damn rat? Man, is it worth it trying to spend one minute making this cudgel? If that might be better than the steak knife? God, here we go. I think they're bashing on the door already. Oh, I think now the door is broken. Alright, so now we have a cudgel on the ground. We just picked it up. So obviously the knife does a different type of damage than the cudgel. The cudgel does bashing. I don't know what's better. I don't know what's better. If it, if uh, cutting or bashing is better for like your, your typical zombie, I have no idea. Normal zombies cannot break metal doors. Alright, I think it's time to go out and face whatever this is. Can you board up a door? Yeah. I just don't, I don't wanna... All right, let's, let's hide for a little. I'm just pressing uh, five right now to pass turns. So we're just, you can see the time is changing up in the top right by seconds. I'm just passing a bunch of turns so the zombie or whatever it is has time to move through the house, see that I'm not here, hopefully, and then leave. So now I'm going to head, I'm going to step out and we're just going to live with the consequences. Bash is better for now? Okay, good. Good. We're going to wield the cudgel. And here goes nothing, everybody. 
Big money, no whammies. Shit, I need to turn my cell phone light off. No whammies, big money, what's up, right? Now here's the question. Should we look to try to find <laughs> the zombie in here? Or should we just- we should just get the hell out of here, right? I don't get this game. What is there not to get, Gernzo? It's Project Zomboid. You like Project Zomboid, right? It's just a more in-depth... More... Nah, you can take him. <sighs> Shit. Go into the room to the east? Well, the problem is, the zombie could just walk right around here, I think. That's, that's, that's my problem. Uh, crouch and open the window, then you can see outside. Okay. I'm sure I would just need to peep some tutorials. I don't know where to look for what info. I'll, uh, I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up uh, as soon as we're done here, Grunzo. I think, you would, I think you would enjoy it, dude, if you get past the learning curve. I think you would enjoy it. Um... Okay, crouching. That's something I don't think I've ever done. Is that in movement mode? Yeah. I don't, yeah, okay. So I crouched. I have opened the blind, but I don't seem to have a line of sight out the window. Yeah, Vormathrax is exactly who I watched. Vormathrax has this playlist called Cataclysm University, which is it, which is really in depth if you want that, or you can watch his tutorial Let's Play, which is I in my opinion a little less boring, but I put it on like 1.5 speed anyway. And all I did was I watched several of those. I uh, made sure I have this key map up on the second monitor, and uh, and you know we're good. Okay, so I don't think. I don't seem to be able to see out of this window while I'm crouched. Oh, quickly stand and recrouch, I see. I don't see any zombies. I don't see any monsters. Hey, I put 37 hours into Kinshi and still don't know how to play. I'll give it a crack. That's what I like to hear, man. That's what I like to hear. Uh, on a mission to smoke rocks, that's right. Looking like some Naruto shit. It pains me that I that I know that reference, okay. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, check it out. This shrub... This shrub has a movement cost of 400. If I move up into the window and the zombie gets on the shrub, we're gonna have a good advantage here. This is also a movement cost 400. If I could just get her to step onto one of these. Oh god, there's a bunch of zombies to the east. Alright. That's not good. She's gonna she's gonna bypass. She's gonna bypass the bush altogether, isn't she? Can't you outrun the zombie? I can, but I wanna I wanna kill this one. I, I I I'm sick of running right now. I know it's stupid, it's hubristic, but whatever. Let's see where she goes. If she goes into that broken window, we're we're screwed. There we go. Alright, now we should get some free hits, at least two hits without her being able to counter. Alright, you precisely hit the zombie for 18 damage. That was a crit. Now notice she has not attacked back yet. Leave zombie on the window and be in the house? Is the window even slower? Well, that one's 200, this one's 400. That's, okay. Alright, you quickly strike the zombie for 5 damage. You quickly strike the zombie for 6 damage. And see, she still hasn't been able to hit us back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that advice and I'm going to step over here. Now she's standing on the window. The window had broken glass, so she should have been injured by that. 
Okay, this zombie is moderately injured, that's good, and she has the movement cost of 400. So more free hits. 8 damage. 13 damage, that's a crit. 7 damage. 19 damage. Nearly dead, let's do it. There it is. Woo! Yeah, die bitch, exactly. Alright, we still need to get the hell out of here. We still need to get the hell out of here. Um... He's beginning to believe. It looks like there's no more broken glass in this window, right? Yeah, there's no more broken glass there. Now, I highly doubt there's anything useful on that zombie's corpse. But we will look. There's an umbrella. A bunch of filthy, torn up, bloody clothes, sheets, a ring, an undershirt, a novel, a bunch of glass shards, a heavy stick, and a long string. I'm going to pick up the long string real quick. Alright, none of these other zombies are aware of us currently. And S to smash its corpse. You can smash the corpse further? I did not know this. The corpse is thoroughly pulped. Oh my god, are you saying that that thing could get back up if I didn't smash it to pieces? I never even thought about that. <sighs> yep, oh, if you don't pulp it, it will revive in a day. I see. I see. Okay. Well, it is thoroughly pulped. We have still not been spotted, believe it or not. Uh, this is helping to break the sight line once we get in the road. That would be nice. Basically, what I want to do is I want to go... I guess I want to go to this house over here. There's a house to the southwest. I think that would be... Uh, that would be good. Uh, uh, Mesu, thank you very much for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so they would really have a hard time seeing us right now, which is great. Um, let's just hope they don't see this. I don't, I don't think they'll see. We should be able to get to this, yeah. Alright, that's a wide open glass window right there. Uh, hey, uh, Zug Zug de Grey Balls. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that, thank you. In Experimental, you find feral humans. They carry weapons and throw rocks at you. Great way to find an axe. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, what type of farm is north of you? This is a... I think it's a dump, actually. Yeah, it's a dump. That is a great name, yeah. Uh, if there's silos, you'll get great vision. Can you aim blows? No, no, yeah, no. Alright. Find some crack. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, let's try the door. Alright, that door is locked. Shit. There's a zombie soldier that looks like it just killed probably a fox or something. Or a cat. Whatever that is. Uh, the good thing is... It's very far away, and there's lots of trees in between us, so I hope you won't see me, but... Take a peek through that glass. Glad you started playing this. This got me pretty hooked on it. Hell yeah, right? Uh, only downside with this game compared to Zomboid, for example, is no co-op. Nah, yeah. Uh, alright. Alright, okay. 
This has way more content than Zomboid, though. What's up, Sniper Joe? I don't want to... I don't want to smash any windows right now. I still don't have anything to pry the window open. And I don't want to bash it. I want to find maybe a door that's unlocked, but it, it's highly unlikely that that's going to happen. Should I... Uh, I don't want to bash the window, but I'm going to do it. Then you want to break the, the shattered glass to clear it out. Alright, let's take a quick look at what's immediately around us and visible. Oh, man. A bunch of glass jars. Uh, some sheets, another heavy stick, a long string. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's right there. Pick up that long string. Maybe another heavy... St nah, I don't need that right now. Let me see. Zomboid's co-op's currently busted anyway, isn't it? I haven't tried it. Uh, you have to use the previous version. Uh, there may be an open one. Stay crouched. Go ah, shit. Now I gotta download this again. I'm feeling the call. Go ahead, do it. I just can't seem to make anything that's really decent here. I've already... I guess it might... Eh. I've, I've already got a leather backpack. I could make a knapsack, but it just... I don't need to be carrying this much shit. I really don't. I'm going to make a makeshift uh, bandage here. pick that up. With a pipe, you can make a makeshift crowbar to take care for your prying needs. Yeah, I need a damn pipe. I know you can get them by smashing, like, lockers and things like that, but I didn't have a weapon to bash the lockers with when I was at the evacuation shelter. Okay. All right. Okay, we're not even... We're not thirsty, we're not really hungry, but um, another glass jar is always a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this glass jar with a pickle in it. I'm going to eat that pickle. And now that we've eaten that pickle, we've got another... We should have two glass jars, right? Yes, we have two glass jars, which I can put water in. If we find, like, a water heater with some clean water or something like that. Close those curtains. Steel frying pan. You know, it has the same bash as what I'm currently using, the cudgel. doesn't matter. I don't know if I have a lighter. I don't remember if I have a lighter or not. This one's... Nah, I'm gonna get it anyway. I think we have a hammer, but there's a screwdriver. That's good. That's good. So... Love me some dill pickles. Hell yeah, man. Of course, that, that's really... Honestly, that's the only kind of pickle I can stand, but I love it. It's not that I can stand it. I fucking love dill pickles. But any other kind of pickle, like sweet pickle... Ah, oh, fuck no, dude. Okay, I think it was, was it Anandar? Were you the one telling me about uh, breaking down a table with the hammer and screwdriver? To get uh, like nails or something, was that what we were talking about? On the same way, dill or nothing, that's right, that's right. Fantasy novel. Eat your way to a fit physique. Ooh, what the hell is that? L stick. This stylish staff not only functions as a light source, but doubles as a lightweight weapon. What? 
It's made out of steel and super alloy, but it takes a battery. It has no charges. Hmm. Uh, it lets you access the furniture menu to take things apart. Oh. Wait a minute. I'm looking at my key map here. Is there something specific for furniture? Oh. Do you mean the construct menu? Or is there something else? Yeah, construction menu. But not, would it be the disassemble menu or just construct, or construction? I've never looked at construction. Let's try that. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah, all right. Deconstruct furniture. And like y'all said, you need one tool with hammering of two or more, one tool with screw driving, which we do have. Batteries are in the kitchen normally. Okay. Deconstruct furniture. So I could I could take this shit down, huh? So the advantage to that is you get what better? You get more components and it's quieter, I guess. Holy shit! Fourteen nails. Jesus. Uh, what's the stats on the weapon you are using? This is the weapon I'm using. Uh, it has a bash of 8 and a 2 hit bonus of plus 2. Moves per attack, 111. The star button on your number pad? Oh, okay. Uh, disassemble menu lets you disassemble items like flashlights or blankets or other stuff you can pick up. Constructions for tables, walls. For okay, okay. And the metal shelves are handy for pipes. Nice. The other weapon, this one, oh, you're right, Jesus Christ, it, well, it has a bash of 18, but it's very heavy. It's very heavy. It also, you can also uh, light things up if you have a battery, but I don't have a light. I could, I guess I could wield it. More stuff and quieter, but it takes longer, okay. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll dispose of the cudgel and, and take this. Okay. Um, all right. Pipe and hammer can make a crowbar. Okay. Wow, it's dark as shit. Oh, that's the garage, that's why. Oh, it's a mechanical winch. No, I don't wanna no, I don't wanna open the garage door. That's a towel. Whoops. Screwdriver set. It's a set of screwdrivers. That's interesting. A pair of rubber boots, alright. A hammer, I already have that. Oxidized bound, okay. How many move points? It's like 141. The cudgel is 111, and this, I think, is 141. So it's significantly slower and heavier. But it does more than double damage compared to the cudgel. Okay, uh... Take the set? Okay. Wait, it's over here. Screwdriver set. Can I break this? Can I break this down, maybe? It's too... Oh, it's too dark. Turn my cell phone light on. Oh yeah. Yeah, 141's not too bad for the damage. Okay. Eight pipes. Eight Jesus. Alright, so we're gonna grab one pipe. I 
I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm just. All right, hold on. Before. No, 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 no. Now again, I don't really know how to use the advanced inventory. I know that I could somehow use the advanced inventory to do this a little more easily, but I don't know how to use it. What up, Smokey? Just laying pipe, I see. Yes. I think what you do is you tab over, maybe, and if there's something I want to get rid of, like, um, like, uh, that's like nothing, to, but, okay, I did have an extra lighter. How do I switch this over? Press enter. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Alright, alright. Get rid of this damn book. Alright, and then we want to pick up the pipe. What's the, what's, what's the problem? Do I still not have enough... Uh... It says I picked up one pipe, but I don't believe it. Where... Oh, I did pick up the pipe. Oh, that's right, because there were eight of them. Advanced inventory is 10 out of 10. It's worth playing around with it to learn. Hold on, I gotta let this cat back in because she likes going in and out of the room over and over again anytime I stream. Come on. Okay, now she's gonna take my headphones with her. She does this every time, too. Nope, nope. Step over the cord, please. Step over the cord. Nope. You are taking my. Nope. Oh, for the love of God, cat. Come on. God. Oh. Jesus. Okay. You can pick a spot with the number pad? It's a cat for yeah. God almighty. Alright, anyway. Now, how do I bend the pipe? Do I have to go to my crafting menu? I don't see it there. Makeshift crowbar, there it is. You get a new headset? Yes, I did, Smokey. All right, folks. We just made a makeshift crowbar. And it's just enough for us to carry. She'd definitely take the headset with her on purpose every time just to show you who's really... Oh, I know. Uh, that button is search in almost every menu, by the way. It's extremely useful to know. Okay, yeah, I've been using, like, Control-F for find. Alright. Okay, now we can pry stuff open. That's good. And there's a basement. Let's see what we've got here. Oh man. An ankle sheath. It's a small concealed knife sheath worn on the ankle. Yep, I'm gonna put that on. Uh blah, da, 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 da. was there a headlamp in there too? Does it have batteries? Where would it tell me if it has the damn... Oh! Wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It does have a... Okay, whatever. Ah, shit. I'm gonna wear the headlamp. There we go. Boring. I live for the bugs. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Leather belt. Ah, I keep doing that. I'm gonna wear it. Now, here's the thing. When we fought that zombie earlier in the window, I made a pretty significant mistake. I didn't drop my backpack before fighting. My encumbrance is not actually that terrible on my torso. But you can see right here, it tells me that my melee attack rolls are going to have a negative 16% chance to hit or whatever, basically. And that'll get worse and worse as I get more and more encumbered. The number of charges, it has no battery in it. Okay. 
Alright. Oh shit. Spotted a zombie. It does not see us its way to the east, but it could get here relatively soon. So, what I'm going to do is close this damn window and the curtains. I'm going to step here and close those curtains. Alright. Sunglasses. Whoa! No way! No way! That's what that NPC wanted us to get for him, was a relic. But he said to go to a church or a cathedral. Holy shit! Oh look, a window was open for that. Yeah, I know, I know. You left your light on. Well, no, yeah, I still have the the cell phone light on right now because it's it's dark as hell in here with these uh, windows closed. Empty quiver. Yeah. Okay. I th think that might not lead out. Maybe it does lead outside. No, it's a bathroom. Okay. Toothbrushes, a soap bar. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't want to check the basement just yet. The cell phone won't help you see. Well, it helps me, like, craft if I'm in the darkness and things like that. But we turn it off. More open windows. What up, Stormworm? Yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong. Especially not in the basement. Alright, we're gonna close those curtains. Close those curtains. Alright, there's a pair of bifocal glasses. I don't have... I don't have any trouble seeing. My character has pretty good eyesight, I'm pretty sure. There's a Gideon Bible. What is this, a hotel or a motel? Tactical handgun digest and the boyer's buddy. That's okay. Check bathrooms for drugs. A matchbook. And we have we got a lighter. Whoops. Flashlight. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. This flashlight actually has charges, doesn't it? Ah shit. I need to get rid of this. I'm not... Uh, we're going to get rid of the rolling pin. And the dental floss. Alright, uh, right, right, right. And now we got the flashlight. Uh, But we can use the matchsticks to make methamphetamines. Or the match heads. You better be telling the truth, Sniper Joe. I already saw that we can make a crack pipe. Um, take the hand bun book, hand gun book. When is there ever time to read? Whoops. No, that puts me over the limit. I can I get rid of the single screwdriver since I have the screwdriver set. Oh, take the battery for the headlamp. We're looking for baking soda and cocaina. He doesn't know about reading. No, I mean, I'm assuming when you read the books, you raise your skills and shit. Maybe, like in Zomboid or something. I don't know. Screwdriver can go now? All right, good. Okay, okay. Hold up. Hold up. You unload your flashlight. So I've got the battery. Now I can drop the flashlight. Whoops. Uh, now I can go to the headlamp. And... Uh, reload? You reload the headlamp. And now, just to test it. Yeah, there we go. Activate. Oh yeah! Alright, I'll turn that off for now. Very good. Yeah, the screwdriver set has a higher tier of the screwdrivering attributes, so you don't need the lower tier. Okay. 
A is activate hockey. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, we can check the basement now. That is true. That is true. Uh, okay, okay. Alright, here we are in the basement. We're going to turn that lamp on. It's going to give our position away, of course, but... Oh, I could have just done the hotkey. I know. Alright. Alright, there's something here. That is a once-dead human corpse. Oh, it's a zombie. It's a decayed zombie. I think we can handle it. Oh, dude, there might be a pool cue here. There might be a pool cue. That would be good. All right. Movement cost 150. Movement cost 200. Movement cost 200. Movement cost 200. You'll catch on. That or I'll remind you so much you'll hate me. Oh, it's all good. All right. So it looks like the best... Thing, the highest number we can get here is 200. So what I'm going to try and do is get over here. So he'll have to cross onto the... T now, obviously this would be best, but I don't think I can get there in time. I still don't use the activate hockey. Is it worth it to run over here, or will I just be shooting myself in the foot, so to speak, because I'll be out of breath? What do y'all think? I'd like to get to the north side of the pool table, so that maybe the zombie will just walk all over the pool table, and I'll be able to bash the utter shit out of it. Just walk, he's far enough away. Okay. Does pool Q have a reach attack? Yeah, it does. Just walk, uh, decaying zombies are slow. I have legit no idea how to play this, so I'm going to just glare at it. It's all good, Stormworm. It's complicated. It's kind of complicated. Uh, it's basically, it's like Project Zomboid as like a true roguelike. That's all that's happening here. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, shift X to peak. Okay. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over here. I might just try this shit untextured and live in the Matrix. No, you won't. I'll, as soon as I'm done with the, the stream, Gernso, I'm going to hook you up with what you need. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. Run the other way. Well, I, I want to use this table. I want to use this table to fight him. Please walk onto the table. Can you move chairs? Yes, you can. There we go. All right. You batter the decayed zombie for 24 damage. It was a crit, and it pushed him back. So we're going to wait. Okay, now that's not so good. You quickly strike the decayed zombie for 10 damage. 15 damage. The decayed zombie tries to grab you, but you break free. It is currently severely injured. We might be able to kill it right here, maybe. There we go. Weren't the PZ devs inspired by this game? Yes. Experimental comes with the Ultica tile set standard now. Yeah, I'm using uh, undead, undead people. Alright, now we need to bash this corpse to pieces. The corpse is thoroughly pulped. And there's a bunch of really dirty shit. There's another headlamp. Okay. Alright. He can grab the launcher and it will do most everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, Nico? Decided to download this and give it a shot. Is there a particular site you go to for tile sets or mods? 
uh, from what I've seen, uh, uh, the forums on the website, but also, well, actually, that's where I got the stuff. So, I got, I got the sound pack from, the sound pack was on the forums, the one I got, and, uh, the Undead Person's Tile Set is on GitHub. You just have to go to Google and type in Undead Person's Tile Set. CDDA or something like that. I'm glad you're checking it out, Nico. I think you'll like it, man. Once once you get once you learn what's going on and learn the basic commands, it, it starts to open up, man. Okay. There's nothing in those things there. Yeah, I really like this tile set. I really like this tile set. Computer Gaming Magazine. Alright, let's go over here. I start, there's... There's nothing in, uh... There's nothing in these fridges? That's weak. Paper wrapper of a sloppy Joe. Aluminum can of European Pilsner. There's actually not a lot of stuff in here. And unfortunately, I don't see... I don't see a damn pool cue. There's some jeans. Eh. This tile set makes it look like a game. <laughs> yeah, Some Dead Guy is the name of the, the guy who put this together. Get some gas and make Molotov cocktails. Let's see what this is over here. Oh, a uh, water heater. I should have, I think I have some containers. Dispense some clean water. Uh, I'm going to pour it into a container. And I'm going to put it in my plastic bottle. And we're going to do this a couple more times. I don't know if there's a way to, like, batch fill up these bottles. I can tr maybe try... That. Ah, that didn't do anything. Okay. There's still 18 left. Dude, I'm gonna have so much clean water. Alright, I filled up all my plastic bottles. That's my strat in Zomboid. Make me want to play PZ. Oh, by the way, there's something I learned earlier today that I didn't know. That's exactly what I was going to say, Sniper. That's exactly what I was just about to say. Set a house on fire. And uh, run away and let all the zombies go to the house that's on fire. I didn't know it lagged you out, though. That sucks. All right, what is this? Start a fire? Uh, what the hell? Oh, is that a heater or something? Oh, it's a furnace. Okay. I do burning building uh, strats. The roof is on fire. Yeah, I set them on fire for the nails. Nothing in there. All right, I think we're done with the basement. Uh, I'm going to turn my headlamp off. I forgot to use the hotkey again. It only lags for the duration of the fire, which is a long time. <laughs> Alright, I think we are... I think we're done with this house. I don't think we found any drugs in the bathroom, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Crawling zombie. It does not see me. Baseball cap, runner pack, sleeveless duster.
Ugh, pyromaniac with burning down, uh, burning houses down is always fun. All right, appreciate it. I'll definitely download that tonight. Checking out Star Sector right now. Cool, man. All right, y'all. 